Hello everyone. Ever struggle to create a bootable Windows 10 on your Mac? If you are scratching your head wondering how to do it, you are not alone. This video I will show you the entire process. Let's get to it. First, we need the Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation file by going to the trusted website for me, I will use the archive.org link in the video description or you can download directly from microsoft.com here which is you can select uh, what window type that you want the ISO file here, okay? and just download as a process once you download it already like for my case, I did download here download as a ISO image here, click download here and then it will ask to where to save this file and you can save where you only want for me i downloaded already yesterday and once you download it now it's time to insert the usb that you would like to make the bootable usb drive here i will insert the usb here and now it's go to this utility app and then press enter and probably my usb drive is no name here so uh, format it to erase it here to ms dos fat 32 give it a clear name like window 10 for easy identification and then erase it once done now it's time to go to the download file that uh, window that we downloaded and um, i will find mounting it by double click and now it will show here this is all the the mounted file drag copy except the sources copy it ctrl c or drag it i open uh, the usb folder here separate it here just easy to find now drag it to our usb wait until it's copy it depends your computer though uh, if you got high speed computer then it's very quick once done now create the new folder sources folder here and double click here and open the sources folder that uh, that we excluded last time from the source copy all except the install wins and drag all of that to the sources folder on our usb because of the um, install.vim file within the sources folder might be too large for the usb drive so we'll need to split it into a smaller chunk to do this we'll use a tool called vimlib we'll download and install it using homebrew by go to the website called homebrew here type the homebrew.sh so just copy the install homebrew here to copy that and type go to our terminal and now copy paste that enter and provide the admin password so press to continue and then let it downloading and install as you can see here it's installing now wait uh, until the wimlib install so it will take like um, around not long though probably less than one minute right once the homebrew install now we install the wimblip type blue space install space and wimblip okay and then enter and let it run okay i think it installed now let's clear this out and now it's time to split this file that's in the source file from the mount uh, ISO so to do that we type the wimlib dash uh, image egg and then space split the file that we want to split is the install.wim here from the source folder in the mounted uh, ISO okay not from the USB but we just drag this file in here and then space and go to the destination folder that would like to put the, that file the split file so we go to our, our usb window 10 here so copy the source that we like the path here and following by the command press slash and then 
install.swm and space 4000 as a sign and then enter and then let the system run so now is uh, finished for splitting the file and you can verify this by checking the sources folder on your usb drive you should see the split installation file is there now your bootable window 10 usb drive is ready next video i will show you how to install the window 10 to another computer which is my friend computer is very old thank you for watching